This one right here, strictly for my sisters. Nerd Soul. Late LK at one young so holding it down, bring you that street geek and nerd soul. And what is up, my people, today? Oh yeah, we about to get into another wonderful episode of On Screen. And today we're gonna be talking about nothing but black women and film in front, behind the camera, all that good stuff. So uh let's not waste no time. Let's do this. Rihanna, Lupita Nyango, Eva DuVernay, Issa Rae. All those women together, it's it's magical. And so magical that Netflix just won in a bidding war over a film involving them. So I'm pretty sure by now you either heard or if you haven't, there was a image that was taken from like the MIU, the Mew Mew, I guess, fashion festival about a year or two ago or whatever. And there was a post on Tumblr saying that, hey, these two look like one is the con artist, the other one is the techie side that helps the con. Rihanna would be the con artist, and you know, Lapita Nyong'o would be the tech side that helps the cons go down. Well, the Tumblr post didn't really do so well, but when it was posted on Twitter, Black Twitter took that joint to the hills, and Lupita loved it, Rihanna loved it, Ava DuVernay loved it, and it seemed like somehow a viral tweet ended up getting not only the attention, but the fervor and the excitement of the artists that were being included and involved. And it's almost like one of those things where you get a cool idea and it's like, hey, do you think this is cool? Yeah. And they call somebody and hey, do you think this is cool? Yeah. And they call someone else. And next thing you know, we've got a semi film on the way until Netflix meets up with Ava DuVernay, Issa Rae, Lupita Nyong'o, all these women, and this film actually goes down. Like, right now, the film has been, you know, already purchased, ready to go and start filming beginning of next year after Ava DuVernay finishes Disney's A Wrinkle in Time. And this is something that is super cool and super out of left field. This has gone from just something where, you know, maybe, you know, a celebrity or a sports star might retweet you and say, hey, thanks, to some of the biggest names when it comes to entertainment, when it comes to film, combining, like, this is some black girl magic Voltron going on in this movie. And I'm psyched. So before I get on to my other thoughts on this, let me remind you guys, you can find me at Black Hollywood Live. That's right. The only place where you can find that celebrity interview, after show, sports talk, geek nerd, tech at the first online network for African-Americans. And you can find that at BlackHollywoodLive.com. And once you check them out, you want to get some more from week to week, YouTube.com slash Black Hollywood Live. So you got all this powerful ma black girl magic you got the voltron foreman of ava isa you know lapita rihanna all this you know what i think you have to have an a at the end of your name for all of this like you got rihanna lapita ava and isa i think that's what it is if you're a sister if you're having kids right now and it's a girl put an a at the end of her name because she's probably going to be really dope but what I think is cool about this is not only did the idea come together quickly, but the the excitement on the entertainment side. Like, you know, people wanted to buy this film, like seriously buy this film so much so that Netflix had to fight hard to get this. And I just can't wait to see what it ends up being. Now, there have been some reps saying that, yo, there will be some credits for the original posters and stuff in some type of way, but I'm just excited to see this go down. Like, what if this turns out being one of the best movies we've seen in say like the last five to 10 years? This is a crazy pipeline for a greenlit film. Like, from viral post to you know, I guess a couple tweets from the celebrities to a distributor, and here we go. Well, I'm not 
not sure if that might be the best pipeline, but it seems like this joint gets it done. So holla at me, I'm gonna holla at you. Get down in the men comments, let me know what you think about this. Are you psyched? I am, I just need to see a trailer. I really don't care what they make. They could, it could be them two sitting in a room and just kicking it. I know what Ava DuVernay and Issa Rae writing it. It's gonna be sick. So I'm hyped. Jump down in the comments, holla at me. I'm gonna holla at you. And once again, we gotta move on because uh, we got some cool, mo, illa, dope, super califragilistic stuff. Next up is the upcoming film, Girls Trip. Now, before we get started, you know, we've seen kind of like this type of, you know, story before, um, whether it's, you know, on the male side or the female side. But the reason I'm bringing this up, this film has a little ways to go. I believe it comes out in June, so excuse me, July 21st. But I'm bringing this film up because it shows these, you know, girls going out on a trip, they haven't seen each other in a while. They're, you know, gonna have this wild weekend and it just seems like a whole bunch of fun. Now, of course, through this lens, like I said, seen it before. So you're probably like, you know, why is he bringing this up? What's the big deal? Well, it's not so much the originality as it is a unique perspective. Uh, we've seen things like this with um, Hangover or uh, Bridesmaids, but we've never seen this focus through the lens of black women, which I think could be a very cool take to broaden the comedy genre, to broaden this type of storyline, and also to broaden the face of what's seen in this style of comedy. I mean, you got you got the queen, you got Jada, you got Regina, you got, <laughs> oh man, you got Tiffany Haddish, and all of them are crazy in their own type of ways, but they also have worked very well in comedies before, they have great comedic timing, you know, whether they're playing the straight man or playing like the sitcom kind of variety. In this case, we have kind of like this ensemble cast that's coming from black women, uh, well known, especially as far as being able with the, you know, the comedy chops, stuff like that. I think that this could work very well. I've watched a couple of trailers. The first one didn't really get me. The second one grabbed me. Tiffany Haddish is crazy. But she she grabbed me in that one. There's there's some funny moments with her, and I think you know playing Jada as the straight man always works. Uh, she just has like this kind of like she she has this regular man kind of attitude in this situation where she's just surrounded by craziness and she has to respond to it. So let me know what you guys think about this. Is this something that could really add well to the voice of comedy, to the, you know, identity and the view of comedy and the unique perspective of it. Because, you know, I love comedy too. You know I'm an action guy, but I love my comedy. So holla at me, I'm gonna holla at you. Get down in the comments, let me know what you think about Girls Trip. Especially for the sisters, man. Let me know what you think. Are you going to see this joint? I'm leaning on it might be for Netflix, but now with the later trailers they put out, I've been laughing a lot, so I'm not sure. So. Like I said, holla, and we're gonna go on and move on to next up. And last on our docket for the sisters is going back to a project from Ava DuVernay. Uh, her company, Array, has acquired a film called The House on Coco Road. This documentary kind of focuses around a family who moves to Grenada, but amidst some turmoil and some changing times during the world. So uh, check this out. A new moment in history. It just sort of captured the imagination of us. A revolutionary government right here in our own hemisphere. This covers the, the changing landscape of uh, the world at the time, dealing with like Soviet Russia, Cuba, stuff like that, and you know, Reagan, and it just deals with a people's movement to just have their own and have a better outlook and a better perception on where they are and where they live. And I think it's really cool, man. Um, this trailer is a trailer that I personally got lost in. Um, I, I love, in a way I'm a, you know, I'm a documentary nerd in a way. So I kind of got lost in the trailer. I just, when the trailer ended, I was like, wait, I want to know more. And that's the good thing about this trailer is that you, if you're into kind of like socio-political situations, also like um, people's movements, grassroots stuff, I think this documentary might be right up your alley. Um, you know, you got the revolution, you got Reagan, 
depending on how you feel about them, you got the CIA and you got the whole situation with Grenada as a whole from the people's perspective. And I think that's a, once again, another story that definitely needs to be told. Um, we've already spoke about uh, Antoine Fuqua and um, the story on Fred Hampton. This is yet another story that I think needs to be told. And I'm glad that Ava DuVernay is helping bring that to us and show us that story from that perspective in all of its glory. So uh, I know it's a little bit heavy after girls night, you know what I mean, after girls trip and you know, after, you know, just Rihanna and Lupita and just some fun craziness. But I think stories like this are definitely important. And um, check that link down below, watch that trailer. Let me know what you think. Holler at me, I'ma holler at you. I think this is something that is definitely important to help us learn and help round out our knowledge about the world around us, uh, where we've been, maybe where we're gonna go. So, of course, before I bounce, I gotta tell y'all guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, all that is right there for you. Then you can check out shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. And don't forget to get one for them playettes. And thank you so much for hitting me up on Patreon. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right. The best way that I can tell people that you like what you are watching is to hit that share button, man. And people know what you love. And my shout outs got to go to LA What Up, VA What Up, RVA, you got my heart. And please, man, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And yo, I can't wait for that black girl magic Voltron. Yo, that's mine. I right, trade mine. Peace.